Entering the cage, the re-rounds of mixed martial arts in the middleweight division. Entering the cage first, fighting out of the blue corner, please welcome David Sivitz. David Sivitz saying, to heck with the t-shirt, Mike Tyson style, just give me my shorts. Yep, David Sivitz training out of systems as well. I believe that's, he is the either the second or the third um, systems fighter of tonight. Uh, grappling coach there, Angel, who's uh, just got his black belt. He's a check mat black belt. Very good grappler. And sitting so looking, just, uh, <laughs> he's going to, gonna, oh, jeez, he's going to break that poor kid's hand. <laughs> I, I wish I was in David's shape at any point in my life. And there's Angel. He's all fired up. Yeah. David is not somebody that you want to upset. What's, what's his background um, prior to martial arts? Was he military? Was he a uh, um, You know, I, I thought he was military because he kind of gives that vibe. He's just, like, so gritty and tough. But uh, for sure he's a wrestler. But I don't think he was military. But he is just tough as nails and amazing cardio. Too, which is a nightmare of a combination. And these guys weighed in at 76 and change. Both of them actually came in 76 and a half, basically. Now, from his previous fight, if there's one, one flaw in his game or one weak point, it would be the stand-up. Yeah. So... He, and, but he has heavy hands. He could absolutely knock somebody out, but he's just not as versed in the stand-up as he is in the grappling. So, uh, always curious to see how he looks in the beginning of the match. Just gave the referee a nice little double punch, too. He's all fired. And up. now, entering the cage, fighting out of the red corner, please welcome Christian Weather. Christian Weathers fighting out Team Inner Strength. It, is, it looks like he's making his debut, at least uh, here in California. I mean, is it me or is he much thinner than Simmons? He's got to be quite a bit taller. I think he's a lot taller. He's the opposite body type. Right. Kind of, in a way, they're kind of at both extremes. Sivitz is very compact yeah. and... Uh, muscle bound, and if uh, if Weathers is in as good a shape as I hear he is, is that tall, lean uh, body type that just doesn't quit, and all that extra leverage with the length should be a very interesting matchup. If if I'm Weathers, I'm going to stay on the outside and try to pick apart Simmons because you don't want him on top of you. Yeah, and as far as that goes, I have no idea what Weathers' strength is. Is it going to be striking? Is it going to be grappling? Yeah, he's, up, he's out there at Gracie uh, Apple Valley, so... All right, fight fans, here we go. Now in the cage, the rerounds of mixed martial arts in the middleweight division. Once again, our referee in charge of this bout, Steve Quick. And now, introducing to you first, on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, he is wearing black trunks to rimmed in gray. He is training out of Systems Training Center in Hawthorne by way of Traverse City, Michigan. He weighed in 176 pounds. His record undefeated, one win, no losses with that single win. Coming by way of stoppage, ladies and gentlemen, introducing David Silverberg! Seven. 
his opponent across the cage on my right fighting out of the red corner he is wearing black trunks he is training out of gracie jiu-jitsu apple valley inner strength tonight he is making his debut he weighed in 176 pounds ladies and gentlemen introducing christian weather all right fans here we go three rounds of mixed martial arts in the middleweight division. Sivitz and Weathers. Fight 13 of 15 tonight. Sivitz doesn't even want to touch hands. He just wants to get in there. Eats an uppercut. Coming in. Pushing that pace. He's got to be careful. Almost gave up his back here. Yeah, good defense from Weathers. Stopping that takedown. Now in this over-under. Gets on the single leg. He's going to run the pipe. Put Weathers not, down. This is not what Weathers wanted. Yeah, this is the worst case scenario. If you're Weathers, you do not want civets on top of you especially early on still got a minute and a half to go in this round these are just two minute rounds i believe civets is ranked as a blue belt correct i believe so yeah. as well but, but um skills but very good wrestling ranking. yeah and, and a very good athlete too here inside control goes to north south Weathers tried to bridge him over, but it's not going to work. Weathers trying to collect some form of half guard here, but Sivitz does a nice job of slicing through it. Yes, good leg work from Sivitz to keep this top position. Tries to bridge, he, he nearly almost, gets it going. He almost had it. It's not advisable to bridge from that position, but he almost made it work. Yeah, I mean, it, it can still absolutely take the other person over. Sivitz moves to a kind of a modified neon belly and then right over to Mount in this quarter guard now. Still just over 20 seconds to go. Good guard retention from Weathers. Sivitz trying to get over this knee. And this pace is just nonstop. Both of these guys in their 40s. Love to see it. And Sivitz doing exactly what he wanted to do. Come out, take no damage, get the takedown. See what the gas tank looks like on both these guys. That was a pretty active round one. <laughs> that was a very active round one. Yeah, no, not really any resting for that entire two-minute period. Yeah, we, we saw the pace from a few of the earlier fights tonight from the kids that are in their 20s, some of them even teens having a lower pace than this and uh, still coming out exhausted in the second round. So curious to see what kind of shape they're in and what, what type of recovery um, they'll be able to uh, maintain coming into this second round. Yeah, Weathers needs to lower his stance and throw one or two strike combos at most to keep Sivitz away from him. Yeah, he caught Sivitz with that uppercut coming in right. for that first one. But it wasn't enough to slow him down. I'd be curious to see what uh, Angel Diaz there in his corner had uh, had to say to Sivitz between rounds. I mean, his takedowns look great. He just got to stay away from, uh, from the striking on the way in. Touch gloves. Round two underway. Yeah, see, I don't like the, the, oh. the, those gingerly kicks like yep. that. Very nicely if done. If you're going to throw it, put some intention on it against a guy like Sivitz because don't you know it. he's yeah. looking to take it. Yeah, so difficult to throw lazy leg kicks against a, a good wrestler. And let's see what Weathers has off his back here. He certainly has the build of a good guard player. Now, Sivitz very familiar with this position, though. The two places that I'd worry about, David would be striking in the beginning and submissions from the back of somebody with the build of Weathers. Right. 
Let's see if uh, if he can isolate an arm. He's got a good shot at getting a triangle choke or an arm lock with that with those long limbs. Yep. Oh, good shots from David on top though. He lands a couple more of those. Might not be any chances left to throw <laughs> submissions. <laughs> That's right. Generating some nice power from inside the closed guard. Now the guard's open. Weather saying something to the referee. I, I, I couldn't quite pick it up. Yeah, gets one leg back to the outside and the other. Now he's got full guard. See, this is where if everybody should be knowing a, your rudimentary rubber guard, right? Because with limbs that long, especially, you can dead orchard guys. You know, if you can pummel one arm to the mat inside of like a mission control position, well, you can dead orchard a lot of people. I think in MMA, oh, and so you can see he's looking for this arm bar. Yep. Let's see if uh, David has the uh, the presence of mind to keep his arms on the inside. And it looks like this is going to be the end of the round. David's going to. Weathers is constantly talking. I don't know what he's saying. Yeah, I wonder if he's talking to David, if he's talking to the ref. Talking to himself? I don't know. Be curious. Maybe his corner? I don't know. It's kind of far from his corner. He's got to be frustrated at this point. That's two rounds he spent on the bottom. He needs a finish here. He's only got two minutes left to do it. They go by very quickly. Yeah, that was a, another uh, round number two. Was, had just as blistering of pace, it seemed. And, and the thing about a two-minute round is you make one major mistake, and there goes the whole round. And, and the mistake he made was throwing out that that ginger leg or that body kick it got caught he got put on his back and was never able to recover yeah just not a lot of time to work after that great job from from david though getting the takedown this time avoided damage 100 percent going down weather's corner i'm sure has got to be talking to him about throwing those those lazy lazy leg kicks And Sivitz breathing heavily here. And against Sivitz, honestly, especially because his shot is good, I would be worried about throwing any leg kicks. Speaking of leg kicks. I like Sivitz's head movement. You know, he, he keeps you guessing. Changing levels, keeping his head off center line. Making you think, you know, am I going to shoot? No, oh, he almost did it again. And this is round number three. Yeah, Weathers, oh. Weathers is just too green in the striking to, to get any respect from Civets. This is where we're going to spend the rest of this fight. Uh, Weathers making a... Uh, it looked like he was making a valid attempt to get up to his, his feet there, but good control with uh, the leg of David Civets. No, yeah, but here we go. Throwing in a seatbelt... Civets on Civets the back. should pull him backwards. Yep, that's what I was going to say. Pull him backwards and try to get into side control. Wow, nicely done. And this is just a nightmare scenario if you're the guy in bottom. Somebody that's this strong with this good a base and also the wrestling pedigree on top of you throwing punches. I'm surprised they don't stop this. We're about to. Nice mounted crucifix for the finish from David Civets. Fought pretty much a flawless. Yeah, Simic just came out here and executed perfectly. I mean, if, what more can you say? You see his teammate Brady there. Brady Wang, fight coming up for um, up next fighting in, I think, two weeks on yeah. the 25th. I That'll think. be right here at Commerce as well. <laughs> David. <laughs> Got to be careful. Over the moon. Could take the most significant damage falling off that cage. After three rounds of fighting and... Uh, I'm glad they did all that testing to make sure these old guys don't go out there. Yeah, exactly. Get <laughs> somebody get somebody get him his walker. He's barely moving. <laughs> don't let him fight any of the younger guys. Right. Make us look bad. Simmons ready to go another three rounds, probably. Probably. Weathers, though, I have to say, for being controlled and being on bottom, like he's not dying over there. He was just in a bad spot. And here's a replay. This, this is that first takedown, I think. So good. Very clean. This is after he caught that the, the oh, kick, that's right. I believe. The body kick, that's right. Yeah, Weather's unable to recover from there. Yes, it's that Koji. And then here, yeah, it's just his top arm was trapped. He couldn't get it out to defend. Referee had seen enough. 
Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a great stoppage. Even though Weathers is fine, it's just, uh, just unanswered punches like that. Beautiful stuff from David Zivitz. <laughs> Would love to see more from Weathers, too, but um, anyone that can't stop the takedowns of Civets or at least get back up to their feet quickly, probably most of the matches are going to start looking like this because it's just, uh, what do you do against a guy like this that's that strong, that never gets tired, uh, and is just going to be relentless? Yeah, I mean, if I, I would like to see uh, Weathers look, look at maybe perhaps some, some rubber guard techniques or like Williams guard techniques where you can isolate an arm, slow the guy down, and then start to work either omoplata, triangle, dead orchards, with his length. Yeah. I wouldn't recommend it for me or you against Civets. We're not long enough. Ladies and gentlemen, at one minute, 14 seconds of round number three, referee in charge, Steve Quick, stops the contest due to strikes. Our winner by TKO, he is still undefeated, the blue corner, David Silverback Civets! That's right, fight fans, David Civet. I gotta tell you this, one of the coolest entrance music I ever heard. You come in the ring, that was some smooth stuff. But how do you feel, brother? First of all, you have an excellent taste in music, sir. Thank you very much. I want to say <laughs> what's up to my systems family. There we are. I want to say what's up as well to my fight science family. God bless. God bless both of you. So what's next for you? Well, as far as who I'm going to fight, I'll take the ugliest one. Because that way his mama ain't going to get mad at me for messing up his face. Because she already beat me to it. Ow! All right, fight fans, make some noise for David Simmons. Oh, my God. How could you not love that guy? David Simmons going to improve his record to 2-0. and Christian Weathers falls to 0-1. Up next, only two fights left, Chris Martinez versus Bryce Olivas.